Yeah, but I always forget about Pearson because I'm not even sure if, if, he, he's, if yeah. he, when he comes on, if he's, if he's going to see this colour and get yeah. sent off. So basically what I'm saying is... They're going to score. They might score. He likes to beat a man in midfield and get past him to release a ball forward for the strikers. Since <laughs> Shamadou's come back from the African Cup of Nations, he's spent more time... <laughs> Up, up high than he yeah. has defending. Mm. I don't know what's happened there. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Stoke Fan TV and this is part two of a double parter where we've been talking about all Stoke City summer signings and also some of the outgoings as well. Now this is the week after the international break. The international break has happened. Hopefully we've had no injuries. We don't yeah. know because we're filming this before the international break yeah. but hopefully we've had no injuries and all the players are coming back and are ready for the Oxford Oxford game but we talked about all those attacking signings. Yeah. Tom Cannon, for example, we mentioned him, and Kumas and Moran and various other... And gone into uh, some stats on him. And gone into some stats, but we've, we've also had some more defensive uh, options signed yes. over the summer, haven't we? Uh, defenders, um, we've got a, a, a kind of defensive midfield I want to talk about first. So we're going to get into that now. Right, so where should we start? I think we've got to start with Lowell, because Lowell... And uh, we haven't seen him play yet, have we? No, coming um, from Celtic. Mm. And Lowell, people probably thinking, you know, we've heard he's signed, but we don't know a lot about him. He's another young player, 21 years old. He's obviously, he's kind of defensive, midfielder, that kind of thing. Spent uh, time last season on loan at Fleetwood. Now, I've watched some of his highlights. Yeah, I have. I like him. I like the, his style of play, actually. Yes. I'm interested to see where he's going to fit into, into that Stoke team. He's the kind of player, and you watch him play, he'll pick the ball up just on the edge of the D, and he's almost like he's, he'll drive through the channels with the ball, take yeah. the ball with him, drag players out of position, and then almost open up some space for the attacking players uh, to, to move into, in a way. He likes to beat a man in midfield and get past him to release a ball forward for the strikers. I've noticed he's doing that, and it'll be interesting to see how he does that against championship defenders and championship midfielders. Mm. Because if he's playing for Fleetwood... Yeah, it's a league yeah. below, obviously. Yeah. Um, I'm not saying it's a bad standard. No. But it's not the championship. No, and it'll be interesting against the big teams like Watford, West Brom and all them sort of teams. So how's he going to fit in? Because at the minute, you've got to think, obviously, we mentioned in the last game, Baker's gone. Laurent's gone. Thompson in the uh, Plymouth game wasn't even on the bench. All of a sudden now, we are looking a little bit light in there. Yes, we've got Berger. Yeah. Of course, we've got Berger. He played really well in the last game. We've got Sidibe, who I was also impressed with in the last game and also in the FA Cup. We've now obviously signed Seco, who we spoke a little bit about in the last episode. And Lowell? Pearson it? as well, he's injured, he'll be coming oh. back. Yeah, but I always forget about Pearson, because I'm not even sure if, if, he's, he's, if yeah. he, when he comes on, if he's, if he's going to see this colour and get yeah. sent off. But Lowell, that, is he going to play that or is he going to play in defence? I can't see Lowell coming in and being a first teamer straight away. No, he's, no, no, he's one for the future, maybe. I can see him. I'd like to see him get a bit of game time. Coming on as a sub and seeing how he gets on, and if he plays well, then take it from there. Really. Well, this is the thing. You see, we've got uh, we've got a few options in there, and we we'll have to see how he gets on. So, I reckon he'll make his debut against Fleetwood. Wouldn't that be interesting? I reckon he will. Mm. Well, we've got Oxford obviously at the weekend. What do you think, Lowell? What do you think? Have you watched him on YouTube? Let us know in the comments. So, there you go. So, he's another kind of... We'll work our way back from there now. Yeah. Let's go to left back. Left and back. And I know we've we've already kind of mentioned him in a couple of games. Bocat. Yep. Well, how, do you think he, how do you think he's got on to the start of his... his he can his put tenure? a ball in the box. He had a great assist the other day. I thought he's done all right so far. Yeah, great. You know, he's a good left back. It's actually nice to have a left back. Yeah. <laughs> rather than Thompson. Yeah, uh, to, to be honest. <laughs> or Gooch. Gooch can play left back. Gooch actually is somebody, yeah, he can, but Gooch seems to, I don't know where Gooch seems to play all over. Gooch is left, a very wing, versatile player. Right back, central mid. He's a very versatile player, and one that we need to keep hold of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a bit of a squad player though, Gooch, yeah. isn't he? But I like Bocat. Now, he's come from the Belgian league. Yes. And it, a bit of a, another bit of a gamble, I would say. Um, but Paying off so far, mm -hmm. you can yeah. tell he's left back, and it's mm. told, you can tell he's better than what we've had for a while, so... Yeah, what do your what are your thoughts, Stoke fans? How how do you think the Bocat so far? He did a great uh, 
clearance off the line. Yeah. And was it the West Brom game? I think. Uh, but he looks he looks like a, and he, he looks like he's putting a shift in. He's just running his socks off. Yeah. Which I like. Um, so there's Bocat. Let's uh, let's move into the cent central uh, defensive area now. Let's start with another loanee, and yep. that's Phillips. Yep. Phillips played in the Plymouth game. Yes. Did well. Yes. Used what to play we, for Plymouth. What do we think to him? What do you think to him? Well, he did play for Plymouth, as I just said, from January. Yeah. Wasn't one of Shuey's signings. He got him on loan no. as well. You're right. He's obviously he's come on loan from Tottenham. I've heard because he was at Blackburn. Yes. And then Blackburn sold him to, to, to Tottenham, and there were Blackburn fans who were really unhappy about that. Yeah. The fact that he he'd gone over to Tottenham and Tottenham had got a bit of a um, a bit of a steal. I mean, they bought him for two mil. According to this stats website, I mean that's that's not a small amount, is it? No. Not, not a small a amount at all. Player. No. He's so only I've, 19 now, so he's, he's only been 17 and 18 then, wasn't he? I, I like the look of him. He, he he looks like he's. I think he's good. I think he 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 seemed, He obviously got subbed during the Plymouth game. Maybe a bit of fitness there coming through, yeah. but yeah, he can defend. Yeah, and a tall player as well. Uh, can play, I think, at right back a bit as well. Yeah, we need to. So he's a bit of cover for there. Just in case Shamadu decides he wants to spend half his time camped out in the uh, up front, <laughs> like it does. Yeah. Since Shamadu's come back from the African Cup of Nations, he spent more time <laughs> up up high than he yeah. has defending. Mm. I don't know what's happened there, but anyway. So there you go. There's Phillips. We've obviously signed a very experienced uh, Gibson. Ben Gibson, which we haven't spoken about. Who we haven't spoken about massively from Norwich. A lot of experience there. Didn't start in the last game. Another captain change. I think it was, was it Wilmot or Bergen? Yeah, Wilmot. Just some confusion. Some people said it was Bergen. I don't yeah. know if it was Wilmot. But either way, it was another captain change. So Gibson not starting there. Just quickly, would you start Gibson or would you start Phillips based on the last game? Going I'll start into Gibson. the Sox. Going into, you'd actually start Gibson yeah. even though, really? Yeah, I would. I think we need a bit of experience in the team. And I like this going out with a youth team, mm -hmm. but I still think you need an experienced head at the back. OK, so you'd, you would you go with Gibson and... Phillips. you go with Gibson and Phillips rather yeah. than Wilmot? Well, rather than Wilmot, yeah. Oh, OK. Right, OK. Uh -huh. well, what do you think to that, Stoke fans? I mean, it's difficult to change a winning team, though, isn't it? Uh, from, that last, uh, from that last game at Plymouth. Uh, right, so that's Gibson. We can't not mention... Ah, super keeper, can we? Oh, Johansson had a great yeah. game against Plymouth. Oh, what a game, and the man's coming into his own. And against Middlesbrough as yeah. well, he had a quality game. We have mentioned Johansson before, but it's nice to talk about him now. They've actually got a few games under the belt. Yes. And he's starting to show that what we all were hoping for, and that's somebody who we can rely on in the sticks. And any, any passionate about it when when he we is. win or when we, you know, he's he jumping wasn't... up and down, you know, he's at the back of the pitch, but he's, he's showing his, he his wasn't love great. for when we win. He wasn't great against Watford and West Brom, but it wasn't his fault that we lost. I don't think he was awful. Though. He wasn't awful, but he wasn't great. Mm. But since then two games, he's made some really good saves. He's a, he's, he's a good keeper. I rate him, I do. Yeah. He, so he's, a, he, he's obviously there. So I think that's pretty much everybody that we've signed over the summer. As I say, just go through them all again. So Seco, Cannon, Phillips, Moran, Lowell, Kumas, Gallagher, Johansson, Gibson, Bocat. And yeah, that's it. That's it for yeah. the summer. What are your thoughts on all our summer signings? What are your thoughts about some of the players that have left? You know, you look at that squad that we've got there. It is a good squad now. It's very new. It's very new, but it's positive. Yes. And it's full of youth. We've yes. got a very youthful team. I say there's quite a few low knees in there. That's not always a bad thing. It's not always a great thing, but it's not the, it's not the worst. And if they can push us up and, yeah. and get us fighting, I'm not expecting that we keep the likes of Kumas going forward. No. Cannon, who knows? You never know with someone that like Cannon. But I mean... You can like, never rule it out. If we were to get promoted... If, then we're in the Premier never, League. Though. Yeah, that's true. But but I can't see it happening. But they're, 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 they're going to be fighting, aren't yes. they? Especially if someone say like Kumas, who wants to show what he's all about. Yes. Uh, right, so there you go. There are our summer signings. We can't leave without doing a bit of a look forward to the Oxford game, yep. can we? We're a long way from it. We're filming this on the Tuesday before the international weekend. Who knows who's got injured over the weekend? Hopefully, Hopefully not no, Nobody, nobody, nobody. Nobody, none of our players. 
Not Kumas. I think Moran's called, been called up as well. I oh, for Ireland. No, they've gone. No, no, no injuries, please. During the international break, but the Oxford uh, away. Yep. They have only not scored once in no. the whole season. So basically, what I'm saying is they're going to score. They might score, which is fine because mm -hmm. we might score more. Well, they, they've, I think that they forget they, they, they got off to a flyer. They beat Norwich yeah. at home. They're also good at home. It could be wrong, but I think I'm right. I don't think that Oxford have lost at home. I'm pretty sure they've won all their, their home matches. So I think it's gonna it's not going to be easy. Uh, they tend to set out 4-1-4-1. Four, one, four, one. Yes. Uh, which is quite an interesting formation. be interesting to see how we It's very similar that. to what we play, actually, when you think about it, with the one CDM and two wingers and one up front. What's going to be our lineup? We're presuming nobody's got... Uh, we're presuming nobody's got injured. We've got to start Cannon up front, haven't we? Yeah, it's, uh, it needs to be a front three of Kumas, Cannon and Manu. We've got to get the Cannon firing. Yes. There's going to be tons of that over the season, especially if he does start banging in the goals. Yeah. Tons of those uh, references. So, yeah, so... Oxford on the weekend, are you, are you going? We'd like to go. We, we, we won't be there for this particular game. We'll have to see if we can get tickets to the whole game or something like yes. that. Yes. Right, anyway, anything else to say before we finish? Those signings looking positive? Yeah, looking very positive. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to seeing them play. Yeah, let's, uh, let's hope it all starts to become a nice, solid unit. It's exciting times. The team's looking good. Plenty of strength throughout the pitch. Maybe a little bit light in the middle. We'll have to see. Yeah. Right, that's it from me. And that's it from me. And that's it from Sam. We'll see you in the next show.